very important because you can't just go right into a piece of dialogue. You have to say something like, wow, I can't believe that. That's amazing. You know, so there's all these timings before you say something that you deliver in your eyes before it happens. And so the point of the technical part about uh, dialogue I'll get to it. And that is important because we're probably going to go. Every time you think that, she's probably going to go. This is just an extreme. Just watch that feedback. And there are two five lanes. Shove the lane back and right. And the light is just the right lane to you know, accelerate. It's fine. It's not a push. It's not a push. It's not a push. It's not a push. It's looking more and more until it finally gets it. that's involved with the next scene. So they'll do that, you've seen that before. But you can do this too, with the same thing with animation. She's gonna go, I, I can't believe it. So it's like, I. So she can put the dialogue on her anticipation. Or she go, I can't believe it. So it's all the way you wanna know her character. Her character is so important. That's what I'm saying, the character drives the story. Again, four things, please remember this. The story is the most important. The story is the most important. The story is the most important. The is the most important. Did I say that right? Because if you don't have a story, you have a cinematographer that's just having fun with himself with the camera. And don't you hate that? You've paid a ticket to get into the theater and you just don't know what this film is about? It's a shame. Also a shame is that you don't have the conflict at the end. You have somebody who ran out of money like an executive producer who says, that I'll pull the plug. So how are you going to edit it? Oh, they all die, okay? So they do that. So the most important thing, again, I'm going to say this again, is story. And what drives a story is character. Know your characters. God, know your characters. If you guys are ever going to make a movie, and I think you guys are here to make movies, right? Yeah. All right. Know your characters. Please know your characters. If you don't know your characters, you're not going to deliver a story. Because your characters are the ones that drive the story. Okay, remember that. Because if you ever delineate from any one of the characters of who they are, it's governing the story, you're going to lose the audience. If you lose the audience for one moment, you're going to lose them for a scene. If you lose them for a scene, you're going to lose them for a sequence. And you're going to ask the guy next to you, what the hell happened? And that's what's going to happen. So know the characters, they drive the story, the conflict, it's going to happen with all the characters that are going to have around the whole circle of the conflict. They're going to drive the conflict, the story together, and the resolution, this is the part that's going to be very important, is that's got to be really good. You're setting up a story the whole time. You guys want to make a movie, think about this too, because this is very important. The conflict has got to be interesting enough, and the resolution at the end has got to be just really dynamic. So it's got to be just rewarding. If you're going to spend this much time, that reward has to be just what it was all set up for. And I was watching some movies too. I have to vote on the Academy. So I'm looking at everything when I do this. I look at it. When you start a story, you have to know how it ends. And that's got to be a really great ending. Does she get the girl? How does she get the girl, or vice versa? Does she get the guy? And so it's very important. So these little moments of how this one little delivery happens with this little moment of time is very important. Because if she goes, oh, or she goes, oh, however she's coming. 
coming from, but it's so important. What was the line you said? I can't believe. What? I can't believe this? So she can't believe what? Say that's the thing. I can't believe this? What? Backstory. Oh, I can't believe it. I got the job. There you go. Good. That's good. Yeah, backstory is always good. Oh, good. So this is the beginning part of the so at this point, at this point we could do it this way. She's already going. She's already smiling in her head. So when she goes, I can't. The first part of I can't. Before she even says I, she says like that. Before she even says that, so her anticipation to this is. That. Hair colors too. Shoulders go up. Chest So this is the So the underline is when you go to a dialogue like this, you put the letter here, but when you underline them before it, this is where we're at right here. So this would be more like this. So when I'm on I, she's really not on on I yet. When she comes up to this part, so So what I'm doing also looking at the shapes before I get into anything else. I think about where that position is gonna be like she'll still smile. She's really happy. So she's her jaw almost stays behind, you know? Everything arcs out. Now this is on probably be on like the nine. So she popped that so she went like um So this change, this change that actually we did before, which you, uh, this was just an action and you said yay, that's, that's something different, she just went yay. This is, you want to add the dialogue, and we'll talk about that. So a lot of When you want to show something in your animation, and you want to direct your animation, your attention, on every scene that you have, what's interesting about what Steven Spielberg always said, animators make the best directors, and there's a reason for that. It's because every single scene that they have is directed toward one intention of what the audience has to see, and what has to happen what you portray on that one scene has got to deliver. So if your intention is about one thing, it's got to be like keeping this focus here on the eye or her. So you could hold that, pull it back, stop it, pull it, pull it.